think you can hold your nerves against Grandmaster Ali Reja Firuja? In this game, I had my chances. But did I take them? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Chess Grandmaster. And today, I'm going to show you an unbelievable game that I played in the Title Tuesday tournament against one of the best players in the world. Maybe one day will be the world champion. Top number seven, Grandmaster Ali Reja Firuja. Some facts on the French guy. He achieved numerous impressive milestones at young age. He became a Grandmaster at 14 years old and in 2021 become the second youngest player to break the 2800 rating mark. Played in the last candidate tournament, won the 2024 Seifel Cup and so much more. Before we are starting, all that I'm asking for you guys is that smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts and ideas. And let's start. So. I played with the black pieces, it was the 4 round in the tournament, let's see how it goes. e4, c5, d4 he's going for it, c takes d4 and c3, wow. So this is the same with Mura Gambit. So the option here is to take this pawn on c3, but then knight takes c3, we just bishop c4, knight f3, bishop g5, some e5, white is trying to attack very fast, you know, in the center, and also, of course, uh, he sacrificed one pawn, and there is a big initiative here. So I didn't want to bring him the opportunity to do it, I played a move d3 here, after bishop takes d3, just knight c6, c4, g6, knight c3, bishop g7, until now, very logical, just developing my pieces, knight f3, I don't know why uh, chesscom says that in, it's an accuracy, but let's see, maybe knight g2, yeah, knight g2, just protect this knight on c3, so the point after knight f3, uh, as I see that chesscom says bishop takes c3, b takes c3, and now d6, with some option to play knight f6, I don't know, castle, bishop g4, and these two pawns will be a little bit weak, maybe rook c8, queen a5, knight e5, uh, interesting, but of course this bishop is, you know, very bad to, uh, to exchange it, for me at least. So I played the move d6 uh, instead of bishop takes c3, castle and now bishop g4. As I understand the position, I really like uh, to exchange this bishop for this knight, and then I will be able to get some squares, you know, these squares, c5, and this bishop will be better option when this knight uh, will be covered. So bishop g4 was played, bishop e2, I don't know, it, it's really surprisingly moved by Firuja. Uh, probably, yeah, I, I thought maybe h3 also makes sense, for example, takes, takes, I don't know. Um, yeah, bishop c3, I'm not sure about this move, I didn't play, I, I wouldn't play this move because b takes and these two bishops, I don't know, bishop h6 when I'm doing knight f6, not so easy to handle such position. Uh, so yeah, h3, queen takes, uh, probably knight f6, I will play knight d7, knight d5, knight c5, something around this one. So bishop e2 was nonsense, uh, probably. But then I played a move knight f6, just developing this knight, h3, takes, takes, and castle. I like this position as this pawn on c4 is a little bit weak and also I have some options of rook c8, knight e5, attacking this one with a6, b5 maybe and this bishop on f3, I don't know, it looks for me not so uh, good here. So bishop e3, uh, rook c8, yeah, maybe knight e7 was a little bit better uh, to start with this one but rook c8 also for me at least makes sense, just uh, developing this rook, uh, attacking this pawn in the next move. So looking fine. b3, knight d7 now, attacking this knight on c3, and rook c1. a6 was played by me, I thought that maybe I have, you know, the plan to play the move queen a5 with b5. So a6 is immediately uh, comes to my mind, uh, you know, just to, to help to b5 uh, will be played. So g3 was played, another very, you know, he played very fast in this game, and this is something that I really want to talk with you. 
you know, during the game I played against one of the best players in the world, you know, it's just unbelievable. He played against Magnus Carlsen so many times in his life and of course he won uh, so several games against Magnus. So, you know, he's, he's a very talented guy and he's playing very fast with a lot of confidence and I'm not sure that, you know, it was the best for him because I thought like, let's play quiet moves, uh, let's develop our pieces, let's improve them and maybe, you know what, I'm, I'm not sure that he can play like in one second um, you know better moves that I can play for I don't know one minute on or two minutes of thoughts right so of course there is a blitz game it's three plus one second per each move but you know to play very fast um, it, it will not be easy for him of course he's much stronger player than me right it's you know like it's different level at all so if he's playing with one second Maybe I have some options. Maybe I have some chances. Let's see how it goes. So queen a5 attacking this knight on c3. And now queen d2 just, you know, defend it with the rook and the queen. So knight rook f8. I thought maybe, you know, like option, for example, I don't know, knight c5, bishop g2. And uh, I don't know, if I'm playing with h5, for example. So knight e5, there is a chance, right? Attacking this queen and also the e7 pawn with check. So, for example, queen takes, just knight takes e7 check and taking the queen and one pawn up winning position for white. So, rook f8 was like a prophylactic move to, to defend the pawn on e7. Bishop g2 makes sense, just going back maybe with h4, bishop h3 in the next moves. So, I plan to move b5. I'm trying to attack in the queen side as my plan. Took, I took it, uh, of course, and now h4 was played. Of course, to play the move bishop h3 and also with some ideas of play h5, h6, and as you can see, Ali Reza Firuja with 2 minutes and 51 seconds on the clock in the 19 moves. It's unbelievable. I plan to move b4, attacking this knight, and of course this a2 pawn is also a weak pawn. So knight a4, and now queen b5 was uh, not the best move here. The point here was the best was to play knight c5, in order also to look on this square on g4. And as you can see, bishop h3 is very bad because of knight f3 and fork, right? So I'm winning absolutely. So knight c5 just uh, also opening this c file, also providing me the option to play h5 with knight g4. Um, and also knight c5 maybe, there is some plan here to, to attack this a4 knight, right? So queen b5 probably was not the best, queen d5. And he's playing very fast. As you can see, I have 1 minute 23 seconds while he has 2 minutes and 46 seconds. Like, you know, doubled in the time. It's unbelievable. Just queen takes, he takes a knight d4. And in this position, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just better position because the c file is very strong, in my opinion, uh, for me. Of course, knight e2, knight c3 options. Knight e4 is not so good. The bishop on g2 is doing nothing. So I'm, I'm doing fine. Let's see. Rook takes e8, takes, and now bishop h3. Attacking this knight on d7, of course, there is a pin. So I'm just playing the move f5. Rook d1, and now knight e2 check, and knight c3. And I have, like, you know, very good position here. I'm attacking this knight and this rook, and after knight takes, just b takes c3 with c2, bishop b2, you know, very strong uh, attack here for me, and you know, these pieces are very bad for him, I think, a very good chances to win this position. So, rook c1 was played, and now just rook a8, attacking this knight, and claiming that this a2 pawn is also weak pawn, play g4, very fast, and I have already below one minute on the clock. Let's see how it goes. So knight takes a4, b takes, and now knight f6. I, I thought, you know, like to take this pawn and also uh, to grab this one. So he took it, and now I take on d5. The option was here to play move bishop g2, for example, but knight e3 takes, and rook takes a4. Uh, it, it's, yeah, this, this position is losing because of bishop d5. Yeah, I saw this, this one in the game, because now king f8 just rook c8 checkmate on the board, and now king h just rook c8, bishop f8, and takes with bishop up. But here I'm just playing move rook a5, and you know, like, I defend the, the square on d5, and that's it. This position is looking very strong for me. There is weak pawns here, weak pawns here, bishop c3, king f7. I have options here uh, for a win, but probably it will be a draw, but not so easy for him, I, I think. So bishop g5 was played instead of bishop g2, and now I play knight c3, attacking this pawn on a4, attacking this pawn on a2, and also, you know, disabling this rook uh, to come into the game. So bishop e7, and now bishop e5, defend this pawn on e d6, and now king f7, and you know, I have so many threats here. 
So it, it looks very strong here, but he played a move bishop g2 and this was a mistake. And he played it in, in 8 seconds, it's just unbelievable, yeah? F takes g6 was the best, h takes and now uh, probably bishop e6 checking, g7 and now bishop b3, you know, defend these two pawns. And here, yeah, two bishops, so not so easy for me. Probably rook a7 to grab this pawn with the knight and not providing the option to play rook c7. But yeah, maybe I have some chances, but of course white is better, clearly better here. But bishop g2 was played, a blunder by Chascom. Rook takes a4, thank you for the pawn, f6. And now he thought that he has like the option rook takes a3 with bishop d5 with promoting the, oh sorry, with promoting the pawn. Uh, there is, you know, th th there is some lines I thought, in, I think into the game I thought like rook a2, rook c3, um, now rook a1, king e2, bishop takes, but this is bishop d5 check, and now uh, f7, I thought bishop g7, and here there is bishop f6, yeah, this, this one I, I saw during the game, because you're attacking also the rook and also the bishop, and also f8, will be a promoting with checkmate on the board and rook e8 cannot be played because of this bishop so it's unbelievable position and yeah we're losing here as you can see mate in three so rook e5 i played just uh, you know avoiding from bishop d5 uh, situation bishop d8 now rook c5 and then rook e1 king f7 take the pawn thank you very much with nine seconds on the clock and this position i you know i felt like this should be winning for me uh, knight takes a2 no b3 the b2 the B uh, pawn is running and I promoting a queen. I think this position is winning against Ali Reja Firuja, one of the best players in the history of the game. Let's see how it goes. Bishop d4, rook b5. Just controlling the pawn, sorry. Uh, and that's it. And you know, pushing it. Rook c7, bishop e7, and now bishop d7 was a blunder. Yeah, bishop b2 probably. I saw this one. I thought he will play this one, but knight b4. And I had the chance, you know, like knight d3, knight a6, knight c5, knight a4. I felt like it should be winning for me, but yeah, probably not so easy for me. Yeah, bishop d7 was played, but now b2. And yeah, promoting a queen. So, bishop takes, rook takes. Knight up, peace up against Alireza Firuja. Wow, four seconds on the clock. Yeah, this position, uh, it's it's very terrifying because, you know, I need to, to win such positions. Uh, also blindfold, right? So, yeah, in this position, I just uh, played a move king e5. And, you know, I was so, how to say, I, I was so confused and exciting into this game because I felt like I played so strong. I played so good, quiet moves. I, I thought during the game, I calculated so much. So I was so excited to win against Ali Reverse Firuja, but this was the mistake. Just play chess, you know, h5, bishop b4. You know, it's 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 really, you know, I'm smiling because it's it's really unbelievable that I played such a move like king d5. And I played it very fast, as you can see. So just a blundering the, the bishop, king d4, and now, you know, this position also should be winning, of course. Um, but yeah, I, I totally messed it. Bishop d1, king g3, rook g7, king h4, but now it's not so easy because, you know, I don't have so much time to think. So, yeah, here d4 was not so clever. Uh, it's probably d3 was, yeah, d3 was the mistake. Now there is just amazing solution. Bishop takes d3 and after knight takes just rook g4 check and, yeah, stalemate after king takes or h takes. And of course, after king h3, just rook g3 and attacking this knight, of course, so takes and stalemate on the board. So yeah, d3 was the mistake. Probably, yeah, here just to play the move king h3 with h4, king h2, h3, I really need this knight uh, to win this position. But yeah, I just played, you know, with no time on the clock and play the move d3, rook d7, and also this position should be a draw, takes, takes, and yeah. There is a draw and what can I tell you guys, it's maybe one of my shamest uh, games in my life because I played so strong against one of the best players in the world but with peace up, absolutely winning position, I blundering a full bishop in time trouble. What a blunder, yeah. So, you know, don't forget, if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe my channel for more chess content. See you soon in the next videos. Maybe one day I will win against Firuja, who knows, see you, bye bye.